First things first, before the video actually starts, I am not rich, like not even close. I just have to point that out because some people are gonna see the thumbnail and they're gonna go straight to the comments without actually watching the video, just thinking I'm some rich little kid. But I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, all the money that you saw on the thumbnail is fake. I've never held this much money in my life. But as for the rest of you guys, I hope you enjoy the video and make sure you watch all the way to the end because I did something fucking crazy to my friend. A little over a year ago, I was not posting YouTube videos. I was actually taking orders at McDonald's, barely making minimum wage. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to work at McDonald's or any other 9-to-5 job, but I was definitely settling for less. I started the job around my 18th birthday, and I ended up working there around 7 months. During this time, I was still a senior in high school, and I was working like 5 days a week. I would basically wake up every day, go to school for 7 hours, and then drive straight to work after school for the rest of the day, and then come home and go straight to sleep and repeat the next day. I barely had any free time anymore, and it was horrible, but for the first time in my life, I had consistent money coming in so I continued to work. I started to realize that I wasn't really doing anything, I wasn't saving any of my money, and I was at a job that was essentially gonna get me nowhere. I basically gave up my free time just so I could make a little bit of money throughout the week and then spend it on my day off. Now I know some of you guys are just waiting for me to say that one day I created a YouTube channel to try to make money and it worked, but that was not the case at all. I had already been doing YouTube for half of my life and I never really found any big success, it was just something I loved to do. I had around 20,000 subscribers and I would sometimes make a couple hundred bucks a month if I was lucky, but as you can imagine, once I started working at McDonald's, I stopped posting on YouTube. YouTube. Eventually it got to the point where I wouldn't even want to check my analytics for my channel because I was so scared to see how low the numbers had gotten. I knew I was blowing a huge opportunity but for whatever reason the motivation just wasn't there. It had been so long since I posted a video that I just thought there was no way I would be able to come back. YouTube isn't going to promote my videos and nobody's going to care about me anymore. But holy shit was I wrong. One day after work I finally opened up to my girlfriend about my passion for making videos and I showed her my channel for the first time. She literally had no idea that I was a YouTuber but she saw just how serious I was about it and she gave me that boost of motivation and confidence that I needed to make another video. After posting just my first video back, I made the decision to quit McDonald's and get a part-time job at a skate shop instead. I knew I really wanted to focus on YouTube again, and since I was only going to be working at the shop for 15 hours a week and I wasn't going to school anymore, I wasn't going to let anything stop me. I started pumping out videos again somewhat consistently, and all the hard work started to pay off almost instantly. In just one month, I was able to go from 20,000 subscribers to 30,000. But that still doesn't mean I was making a lot of money. I was actually broke as fuck, if I'm being honest, but it was a sacrifice that I was willing to make for this. It was not long at all before I got to 40k subscribers and then 50k right after. I knew I needed to step it up a little now so I finally bought a new camera and stopped filming on my phone. And this was when more of my videos actually started to pop off a little bit. Around this time is when Active Ride Shop closed its doors and I lost my job. Even though I wasn't working a lot of hours, I still needed that extra money so I quickly applied to a handful of new places and long story short, none of them hired me. I took that as a sign and decided to go full time with YouTube even though realistically I wasn't making enough money. I knew I was really going to struggle for a little bit but again that was a sacrifice that I was willing to make. I didn't want to be stuck making only skateboarding videos so I slowly started expanding my channel outside of skateboarding a little bit and even though these videos weren't getting as many views as the clickbaity skateboard videos people enjoyed them and I was able to grow a stronger audience who watches my videos for me rather than just the skate clips fast forward a few more months and now I'm here with my own merch brand and well over 100,000 subscribers which was always my dream since I started even though I'm not rich right now I'm no longer struggling anymore so those sacrifices definitely paid off in the end it's been such a crazy journey and I would honestly do it all over again in a heartbeat and the best part about it is that I'm going to. This is still the beginning and I'm not going to get comfortable because I still have a long way to go. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this. If you watch my videos just for the skate clips, I still love you. But if you watch my videos just for me, I love you more than words can even explain. Like you guys are literally like one big family to me. We're going to take it all the way. Like I never used to think it would be possible, but we're going to hit a million one day. I just know it. I don't care if it takes another year, if it takes 10 years, I'm going to continue to work my ass off for this. And if I do it right, it should not take that long at all. And if you're still watching this, chances are you found this video somewhat entertaining so far. So do me a favor and subscribe. Maybe give me closer to 200k and now I think it's about time to go do what I do best my dick small you act like you ain't noticed put my dick inside his mouth he started choking that dick in me bro that shit got me moaning Yes, I'm gay, and my sister with that whole shit. Bitch, I'm twerking. Dick up in my butt. I'm just kidding, guys. That was a joke. I do not hate scooters. I have a bunch of friends that ride scooters. That sounded so stupid. That was literally like one of those racist white ladies that's like, um, I am not racist. I hung out with plenty of black people in high school. But I know most of you guys just want to see skateboarding, so here you go. Where did these niggas be at when they say they doing all this and all that? Tired of beefing you.
So it's like 1 a.m. right now, and my friend Jay is currently riding 500 miles from Long Beach all the way to San Francisco on his bike. And right now, he's only like 30 minutes away from me, and he's sleeping in a tent at Ventura Beach. So I thought it'd be a fun idea to drive over to the beach right now at 1 a.m. and find his ass and go surprise him. And by surprise him, I mean scare the fuck out of him. So watch they get pop, pop. No, I'm not scared. Yes, I will stand you. Live on the beach. All right, I just pulled up. It's like 1.30 now. And just so you guys know, this is a big-ass beach. Like, he could be anywhere on this beach. I don't know exactly where he's at. All I know is that he's in a gray and orange tent. So this could either take me 15 minutes or it could take me two hours. But I'm going to find his ass one way or another. I think it's been like five minutes. And I already want to give up. I have to really think. Like, where would I put a tent if I was going to sleep on the beach? He said on his story that he was by a bike trail. So I've been walking on this bike trail for over 30 minutes. And I still haven't seen a fucking tent anywhere. Okay, I think I'm really close. Him now so I'm at the very beginning of the bike trail and look at the pattern that's on the ground I'm pretty sure this is the exact same spot that's on his story I'm a fucking genius I should just work for the FBI or something all right it's like 3 in the morning now and I've been walking non-stop and I walk like twice as slow in the sand I brought Jay some water for his journey and I ended up drinking it because I'm so fucking tired of walking but at least I'm not riding a bike to fucking San Francisco <laughs> So earlier when I was at home and I first saw that Jay was in Ventura, I texted him and I said, you're in my hood. And he literally just responded to me right now, which means he's awake. So I am a little nervous now that he's either going to leave Ventura or somehow find me before I find him. Get out of the tent. I repeat, get out of the tent. You are under arrest. Sir, yeah. please exit from the tent. Uh, exit. <laughs> Sir. Sir. I'm not... Yes. Sir. Yo! Oh my <laughs> fucking god. Sir, get out of the tent. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Brian? What the fuck? <laughs> that is so weird, bro. What are you doing? Dude, why am I shaking? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, is this real? I was like, yo, no way someone's just kicking me out. Dude. Scared the fuck out of me. My friends are telling me to like, hold a knife with you, to bring a knife with you. I was like, all right. So I had the knife next to my pillow. Imagine he stabbed me because he didn't know it was me. It literally took about two hours to find him. So let me get this straight. You're riding a bike 500 miles to San Francisco from Long Beach. From Long Beach. Why? Like, what's the reason? Views, exercise, <laughs> just the experience. There's no way I'm going to get hella views off this. I just, I just wanted to do it because I got a bike and I was like bored and I don't have a job right now so i was like i need to start doing this before i start working hard again so i, I wanted to just do something fun yeah i just want to do it like. you're fucking crazy <laughs> i would never do that shit i could barely be in the car for like six hours driving to san francisco bro it took me seven eight hours to get from long beach to right here he's also a youtuber and he's vlogging this so by the time i post this video his video will probably be up so go check out his video Dude, i literally oh. where i thought he was by the front of that bike trail he was not even there anymore like he biked another like at least 15 minutes to this spot i walked the wrong way for like 45 Five minutes bro keep in mind <laughs> it is 3 20 a.m it's 3 20 a.m right now i did not somehow i found his ass up right now this is so weird i feel like i'm dreaming right now because like <laughs> I, I don't like the last thing i expected to do is be vlogging right now <laughs> Alright, he's leaving his stuff in the tent. We're gonna go get some food. If his bike gets stolen, he's walking to San Fran. This guy's a dickhead. 3.40 in the morning. Yeah, he's still got, what, a day? A day and, and 13 hours. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were, like, fucking beating your dick when I found you. Because you were taking a little bit to come out. I was, bro. I found my pants on. <laughs> Look for a nut. Fucking these bitches. Drop like they're nuts. Wacking these niggas. I can rent on. I also wanted to thank you guys for 23,000 subscribers. My all-time goal since I started YouTube was 100,000 subscribers. And I'm calling it right now. I'm not giving up until I reach that goal.